has attacked the senator representing Anambra South Senatorial District in the National Assembly, Ifai Uba. Flip TV learned that Uba was attacked on Sunday along Enugu Uku Road in Anambra State. It was gathered that heavily armed gunmen ambushed the lawmaker's convoy and opened fire on his cars. However, the senator managed to escape death as his car was riddled with bullets. It was also reported that some of his aides were killed in the attack, including some police officers. Meanwhile, a coalition movement for Bola Ahmed Tinubu has examined the achievement of frontline presidential candidates for the 2023 presidential election and concluded that with their track record, Bola Tinubu will serve to become Nigeria's next president. The group said that the All Progressives Congress flag bearer outclassed other candidates, including Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi of the People's Democratic Party and Labour Party respectively in terms of achievement in political offices they previously held. In a statement on Sunday by its convener, Senator Rilwan Akombi, he said that achievement of Tinubu during his stint as Lagos State Governor present him as the favorite to succeed President Muhammadu Buhari. According to the group, what appeared to be common among the four leading contenders is the fact that they have participated and won their governorship elections in respective states in the past. In addition, they have held different political positions at the federal government levels. The group said that the solution to power problems that go up $16 billion and privatization under the PDP government, which Atiku Abubakar as a former vice president played a prominent role, remains a mirage despite the effort of the current government to clear the mess. It is a well-known fact that except for Tinubu, none of the other contenders has any past record in terms of power solutions. Under the administration of Ashwa Dibola Ahmed Tinubu, Lagos State became the first state government that generated electricity through independent power project and handled by the American company Enron, which produced 90 megawatts and improved the electricity supply in Lagos State. And when it comes to the national infrastructure, the transformation of Lagos State with innovation that brought into existence the Lekki Free Trade Zone, the Eco Atlantic and many road projects that have helped in solidifying Lagos status as a mega city is enough evidence to identify Ashiwa Dubola Ahmed Tinubu as a right successor to improve on achievement of current APC government in the area of new national infrastructural plans on the table of the government.